These are our tilapia. These are uh, these are the fish that provide nutrients to the plants and the rafts that you just saw in this closed loop recirculating system. And the plants that these fish are feeding is cannabis. This is a look inside the only licensed cannabis producer in the world growing using aquaponics, combining aquaculture and hydroponics in a self-sustaining circle of support. You know, basically we feed these fish three times a day. They create solid waste. That's solid waste through clarifying tanks, mineralizing tanks, bioreactor, off-gas tanks, just basically water flowing from one tank to the next to the next breaks down that solid waste microbially. Basically the water from the off-gas tank has my free-floating fertilizers inside. The pipes that connect to this off-gas tank uh, go to my rafts. The water flows down my rafts, returns on the end rafts, comes back into my sump, and from the sump back into the fish tanks. Green Relief says this type of growing can produce more than 10 times the crop yield per acre and uses 90% less water than conventional farming. We're just looking at the plant roots that are in the water, picking up the nutrients that they need for whatever phase of growth that they're in. The medical components of cannabis are extracted from the plant and flower. They say growing medical marijuana through aquaponics means there are less contaminants to remove during this process. That doesn't have any commercial fertilizers. It's grown organically. It doesn't have any inputs at all. There's no pesticides grown in a way that doesn't have any additives. It uh, takes up nutrients that it needs for a day's growth and transpires them the same day. Nothing builds up, nothing unnatural in these flowers. Contaminant-free products. And as for those recycling tilapia, well, they are recycled too. They are food-grade, healthy fish and are donated to shelters. For these guys, uh, no detrimental effect at all. More than 50,000 tilapia meals have been served out of this facility. Hundreds of thousands more to come, and they're expanding around the world. Near Hamilton, Audra Brown, City News.